because I agree with the word of, ben, of Bernice King, the, the youngest daughter of the slant civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr., when she said her father would support a path to citizenship for illegal aliens, illegal aliens explaining her father's will support illegal aliens being affordable to opportunity and become citizens. Increasing immigrant immigration is an amount for both the economic and spiritual well-being of the United States. Immigrants are often taking jobs which will otherwise go unfilled and increase overall productivity and empirically the United States has recently undergone a long period of increased immigration and an economic boost, which may have its ups and downs, but it's still in, in being the world. With significant immigrant contribution in, in the promised high technology sector, the most convincing argument against immigration is usually the effect of wages. But current economic policy is already focused on fighting the wage pressure to reduce that, the threat of infl inflation and focus on fighting and um, substance depression. As such, the chief argument against becomes an, an argument for increased immigration. Most importantly, let us not forget that decent immigrants are people who simply want a better life. Just like our parents and grandparents who came, all came to the United States in similar situations, helping them in their quest for a better life. Makes us rich, it makes us rich in ways which transcend money. Those who argue against immigration often make strong, uh, similarly common sense arguments. Arguments are made as Im to immigration, immigration causing increase of uses of schools, um, inf infra infrastructure, and housing. This certainly makes sense on its faces, but it's high, high, high just, high it's hides hides the assumption that there is a, f a fair amount of housing when it really we can't build as many houses as we want. Assuming we have the, ne the needed labor and immigrants often provide this labor. Immigrants' activities just ling ling writes that almost every week we, we hear about thousands of workers losing their jobs. Yet in 1992, more than 750,000 legal immigrants um, of working ages were admitted to this country. This hints, hints on the idea that the, um, there are finite finite amount of jobs. With this clearly de de dependent on the health of the economy to which immigrants contribute, she also asked, where are we going to find tax dollars to re educate the additional thousands of Im immigrant children who we invite into this country every year? The, hin the hinge of the idea that there, the, there are fin finance of amount of tax dollars, which in reality, these dollars depend on the workers who pay their taxes, including these new immigrants. These are symp sympathetic responses to sympathetic arguments. In, in reality, the contribution of immigrants to society is hard to quant quantify. but. It is important to realize that arguments which hinge the myth of finite resources are rhetorical and ill-suited to determine the real impact of immigration. So studies are designed to determine the real impact of immigration on their economic drift, drift from the results, but the United States, slash is, um, states is a country of immigrants and happens to be the strongest country in the world. And this and is this a coincidence? The long, the long resources, which are indeed finite and envir uh, are environmental, but I cannot see now a truly responsible environmental organization can be anti-immigrant. The environment is a global issue and usually agrees that we increase wealth, comes increasing awareness of the environment as such. It's far better for me for the global environment to move from people from low wages to high wages countries. Indeed, the United States lost an immense amount of forest and bio biodiversity during its industrialization, but recently has begun to reverse the trend of increasing wealth and has allowed to use a focus on environmental issues. Arguments against immigration are often allocated and do have some basis. In certain urban um, centers of the country, new immigrants represents, uh, represents disposal amount of population often before they are just enough to make for it with contribution, contribution to the tax base. As such, it's natural for those who have um, experienced things to have negative attitudes toward immigration. Still, it's still important to realize the um, accurate nature of ex uh, experiences. We should work to elevate uh, the situation, but let's not lose sight of the, of the big picture. Or some activity, activists see reduced immigration to, as necessary to reduce ethnic tension. Legis legislation reducing ethnic diversity as a solution to racial tension hits of arguments of ethnic cleansing. So far, I have argued that we need immigrants in order to increase the economic well-being, but I think the most important argument in the, in the spiritual one, simply pull it, pull it, pull it, this is a chance to help others and society to, uh, as individualistic as the U.S. We need to take advantage of these chances. Few Americans can imagine the poverty that, uh, that, may, may, that may many immigrants are escaping. Given our current economic boom, it's pretty clear that we need immigrants for an, a micromanic level, but we need even more spirit reaching. We are in clear danger of becoming an isolationist, every man for its himself society. Remember, the lesson of, of, of an answer Scrooge or it's wonder life. It's a wonderful life. It's we, if we turn away those in need, we will be pro, pro, poor for it, both economically and spiritually.